there's just way too many people who sit on their, their asses and like you know talk about you know all the stuff that they want to do and you know they never do it there's always groups of friends sitting around in flats on playstations smoking drugs getting pissed talking about doing like mad things in their lives they want to go places they want to travel they want to do all weird things and that like i never do and like you know 20 years down the line that are uh, the psychologically addicted to pot and they're alcoholics i don't want to be that kind of person i want to be the person who goes out and actually does it because life is short I'm from Birkin Vegas. Birkenhead, as it's uh, properly known as. I'm like 38, I think. I can't remember. 38 or 39. One of the two. Because I've got tunnel vision, when I'm like standing away from the wall, I can kind of like see like half of it. It's weird because like sometimes my brain gets like a mad brain overload because I'm seeing two different things. Things like three or four years ago, I found my best mate like dead on the floor. Um, apparently died of heart attack like. After getting my head round that, it was like, well, you know, life is too short. And I realised I was like living my life in like a rut, in this like comfort zone. And it kind of like gave me the little knock on the head to get myself back out there and doing something. So that's kind of like how I got back into climbing after such a long period of time. I stopped climbing because I had to fall. I smashed my foot up to like little bits. It's still never healed properly. My tendons, they're, they're all like, you know, mangled and all that like. I was only climbing for like fun. It was just something to do at the weekend instead of going out and getting pissed like. It all started last year, basically, when I was told that I could actually enter the British Paraclimbing Championships. And I was like, umming and ahhing whether or not I should actually do it. The, the people around me at the time, I was like asking for their, you know, their advice whether or not I should actually enter. This time last year, I basically turned around and said, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it, and started training. wasn't used to the kind of the training for that level. I just trained like pretty much every day. I think it was like uh, eight hours a day. I, I, was, I was doing like a hell of a lot when I, when I think back. My head's up and down like a yo-yo. Because <laughs> I've got like bipolar and, and that like. Meds help, but um, music, loads of music to kind of like set yourself up to like um, what you need to do for that particular training session. <laughs> 
through the training. I didn't really have any expectations of where I was going to get to. I just trained and trained and trained. Went uh, to the British Paraclimbing Championships, won all three rounds, got the title British Paraclimbing Champion. I was invited to go on Team GB, which I obviously accepted, because you know, who wouldn't? I want to be the greatest climber I can possibly become. The plan is to um, become the British, European and world champion. I presume I was born with it because it's like, you know, it's it's something that is normal to me. And it wasn't until later in life that it was pointed out to me that you've got really bad tunnel vision. I was like, what, really, do I? It's like, yeah, it's just normal. You, you adapt, you overcome. As soon as I get close up to the wall, I can't really see anything. So I base my climbing on body tension and body shape. It is a puzzle, but it's a puzzle for your entire body and your mind, and you've just got to figure it out. Your brain is like a Rubik's Cube, like clicking away, trying to figure stuff out. As soon as you, you get on that wall, it, it just chills you out. You go into your own little world. You figure out the puzzle that's like in front of you and then you complete it. It's, it's so tiring, but at the end of the day, it's well worth it. Like, you know, because you get to the top. Some people might go fishing for the enjoyment of like the solitude of being in like a natural environment and all that like. Me personally, I climb because I love it. <laughs> when I had full sight, I'd be like, yeah, great. But like, you know, what is normal? What, you know, so what? Everyone's normal, like, you know. It's just like, you know, they're only normal in their own little heads. You might think that I'm kind of like mad or whatever, but in my, in my world, you know, you know I'm normal. <laughs> <laughs>